Today, we're gonna wander the countryside, indiscriminately murdering everything we come across. Once they die, we get some loot. Once we get some loot, we can make ourselves even stronger to kill even more idiots, and the pattern's gonna repeat itself endlessly. We've already got a treasure chest, and I hope there's something better than a wooden board in there. Anytime I wanna get stronger, I can, I just need the money to do it. I don't have money to get stronger, but I can make the camp stronger. Since I am a murderer by trade, I'm just going to murder these guys again and again because I will get rewards for doing so. And they're not particularly difficult for me to defeat. This one takes a few hits, but only a few hits, and we can counter it and murder it quickly. So from that, we leveled up and got a few coins. Leveling up gave us 18 points, we're going to put it all into wood. Oh yeah. And then it's back to killing these morons. He has 8 health, so I think we're going to kill him. We're not one-shotting the big mosquito yet, but we're not that far off either. I literally farmed those guys until I leveled up again. This time I'm going to put some of my points into defense and one more into damage. And then we're going to fight the new idiots like the wielding Schlassen who died in one hit. Wildling, this guy will probably take two hits so we'll have to block one. Like, not like that. He's dead. And then we have to fight two at once. I'm pretty sure I can use my ability to hit them both. And then we just got to be careful to hit them back. And missed that one. That's okay. We have lots of health. Who knew defense could actually keep you alive? Now we can just farm these guys for even more stuff. Get murdered, morons. Oh, these guys dropped me a shield. Am I the kind of guy that uses shields? No, I'm really not because then I can't hold my big sword. So if you'll bear with me for a minute, I'm going to murder these guys until I level up to level 5. And with this senseless murder, we can take our level 5 upgrade. Since we don't use a shield, we just need extra damage to make up for that. That way we're hitting things extra hard. I've gone back to the base to do a little bit of training because this will make me stronger. That took my damage way up and also leveled me up twice. So we'll add a bunch of damage on top of that because I want this thing to max out. That turned into bronze, not really sure what that means. We can stun an enemy for three turns. And we're also going to upgrade our defense a little bit because we're going to get hit a lot. Alright, after that our defense went way up to there so that feels good. So we'll put some points into defense, was hoping to get to there but that's fine, we're going back to murdering. This mole has 224 HP, we do 600 damage now so that's not going to be a problem. We can actually kill both of these I think. And then we have a mole with uh, that much damage. I'm pretty sure we can stun him if we want though. We can also counter him and kill him anyways. Treasure chest, please have a weapon. We got a bunch of gold and a leather cap. That gives you an extra 1.3% armor. Which brings us to the forest where there's a goblin grunt who we're going to murder. Two of them, can we kill both? Not quite, but we're actually really close. One more level and we get there. I myself do have 5000 HP, so I think we're going to be okay. I've now stunned him for three turns, so he just sits there and gets murdered. There's nothing he can do about it. Which gives us another treasure chest, which is full of armor. It's actually better armor and we look better because of it. That's all that matters. This is supposed to be a tough battle. Uh, we'll see about that. I'm actually going to try and stun this guy right away because I feel like he's going to be able to hurt me quite a bit. So he's stunned. We'll whittle him away and then we'll see what we're dealing with next. Three guys. All right, well, we should be able to hit all of them, but they've got a lot of HP. Might need to do a little more training. I wanted to counter his in particular because I think he's probably going to be the strongest of these morons. I can say I'm going to need to do a little more training and upgrading for these ones. But actually I did save up $1,300 which is enough for this. So I think I get better weapons. So I go from the wooden sword to a big iron one and that's much better. So we'll go back to this guy and test out our damage. We were doing 600, we're now doing 1200. So if we want to cleave, everyone dies. And if we stun him, he'll get stunned and then cleaved. Progress is nice and quick so far, especially when you can just murder things in one hit. We already got back to the point where things aren't dying in one hit and that's definitely going to annoy me. But as long as I got my stun, we're going to be okay. Whoops, I probably should have clicked on that, but we did 1.5 times damage. I think I got pine cones out of that. Or better shoulder pads, that's going to make me tougher. What do we think agility training is? It's some guy trying to poke me with a stick and me trying not to get poked. Basically, I duck or I jump. The combo was over 100. Uh, it made a happy sound at that point, so I'm pretty sure I'm getting strong. Then I walked into the spear, but we got 261 agility and lots of levels up. 114 points to put into whatever we want. We probably want to get the defense leveled up so this goes up. Then the rest is going to go into agility. I still don't really know what that does. Critical hit and health. Pretty sure I could just do this training endlessly and it will just endlessly make me stronger. Probably at a slower rate but we'll still get stronger. Like something obviously changed. You're not throwing apples. They're throwing cogs at me now. And these probably actually hurt. Like they would kill me. I ranked my agility up to bronze as well, so now I have more points to spend on probably just more damage. So let's fight these uh, guys that were really strong before. I can dodge now too. So we murdered him without much issue. Uh, we're going to go ahead and hit all of these guys. We've almost killed two of them, so that's a good start. We're hopefully going to bash one of them as soon as I can. I need to remember to, uh, what buttons to hit to do this. Okay, well he's dead and I still have 13,000 HP. 
Uh, we've countered him and I'm also going to bash him because he's going to be annoying. So <laughs> he'll be out of the fight for a while. Uh, and then he'll get murdered and we've defeated a strong enemy and we did 3600 damage and super murdered that one. As a reward, we got a shield and some clovers. I also have two skill points I'm going to put into bash probably, that way I can bash people more often. The shield we found was a level 2, the one we found way earlier was a level 3, but we don't use shields because we have our big sword. So then it's back to work, murdering whatever comes up in front of us, like these guys. Uh, we can dodge quite a bit too now, I have two dodge charges that slowly replenish, and we can just bonk them and then they're out of the fight for a while. Which is really really unfair, because while we're doing this, my other things are also uh, coming off cooldown. So when she comes to attack, we counter, and we hit her again and she'll come in and we'll dodge. Then we'll hit her with a bow and arrow that we suddenly have and she's dead. And then we got a better helmet and some more clovers. The helmet's going to give me an extra 1.3% armor bringing me up to 13.3 total. We also unlocked the museum, which apparently this is where we use our clovers. We feed them to this mushroom for some reason. Okay, he eats the clovers and then it gives me experience and I think damage. And because of all that, he gave me $4.4, I think, from my museum collection. So it might be worthwhile to invest in this place, because every day I'm going to get more and more money. Which obviously pays for itself over time. And that person I just defeated, I think she can actually uh, help me for two combats. More points? This game is fires upgrade points to use. So we're going to take more damage, probably a little bit more defense as well, than just more damage. And we can get better weapons already. We're absolutely going to do that. Thanks, depressed grape. Well, since I have her help now, I might as well do some of these tough fights. I also forgot to equip my new sword, but that's okay. We're going to fight a single person. And considering there's two of us doing a stabbing and we can stun like that, I think it's going to be just fine. Uh, yeah, she's basically already dead. Uh, she's not even going to be able to attack, maybe? Nope, not once. She might drop something really good or just some more clovers, which I guess are actually really good. But I think I should probably equip the new schlass, whatever that is. Okay, this is going to be a four-part battle, so I need to be careful how I use my skills, but I need to see my damage now. 3,500, not bad. And we blocked, return hit, we have 16, 17,000 HP. I can cleave these two for sure. But this is definitely going to be a harder fight uh, because I'm already uh, just about dead. Luckily I can dodge. I don't know if I should stun one of these or not. I feel like I should because it would be recharging by now. I guess I should probably also do stuff on her behalf. But we can block and re uh, counter him. I like the fact that she's here because she's absorbing a lot of damage on our behalf. Okay, now we're fighting Mama Mole who is really, really strong. I'm hoping to get in there with a nice stun right away. Then we're just going to try and hit Mama Mo with everything we got. We're going to need you to survive this. Okay, we might get a few more hits in before she even gets a chance to attack, so we might be alright here. Because, well, she won't be alright, but uh, we only contracted her for one fight anyway, so we did it. That should be a pretty good reward, because this is supposed to be a really hard fight this early on. Clover's in a ring. That gives me 20% health. That's actually huge. So we'll go back to just some regular enemies who are going to feel surprisingly weak in comparison right now. Get stunned, moron. Now he's just going to sit there and watch in a concussed haze while I stab him to death. Actually, I can hit them both. Oh, there's one survivor. Should probably start dodging those, but we can just murder him anyway. That gave me all sorts of fun looking stuff. Feet and shoulders. So now we're going to have spiky shoulders and comfier shoes. Probably with lumbar support. I also need to feed this thing uh, some more clovers and see if there's any money here waiting for me. Which I'm pretty sure there is. Six silvers. So we should probably invest a little more back. Eh, that gets very expensive very quickly, so we're only going to do that once. I'm now making 2.5 silver every day. So I'm going to unlock ranged at this point because I haven't done that yet. I'm also going to upgrade the camp because that'll make our range training faster. For range training, I'm just supposed to shoot this. Okay, that's a really awkward shot. Okay, got it. We're just supposed to shoot the center. We wait for the arrow to release. Okay, now I'm getting the hang of it. It's bow and arrow, so you got to draw it ahead of time and he'll get quicker doing it. I think so far this one's actually the easiest. It was a little bit hard at first to figure it out, but so far we're doing great. I think we just hit our hundredth in a row. Whatever the case, I'm going to quit pretty soon because we're going to get a huge amount of stats off this. Okay, range went all the way around at least once. <laughs> we'll see where it goes from here. Okay, we unlocked some bow skills. I'm going to have a chance to shoot poisonous arrows and an extra bow shot. Plus 174 more stats. We can increase our range to damage a little bit. I'm not really sure how good that's going to be yet. We're always sure to just hit things with our swords, or our sword's always going to get upgrades. And while we were training, we made money. We made another 10 silver for some reason. That kind of makes you wonder if we play through a day every time we fight these. Like if I go back and fight the beginning mole and kill these three idiots <laughs> for 6,000 damage, does that give us silver? It doesn't seem to. That might simply be based on time. So we'll just continue on our murdering ways. I wanted to go back and fight the mole friends, the super strong moles. I wanted to try it by myself to see if I could do this. Uh, I can also use ranged attacks and stuff, so that's going to be different. Still got to see exactly how good that's going to be. 
But I've stunned one who we're going to murder. I still have a ranged attack I could use. It gets a little confusing and it's hard without my helper now. She hits very hard. If I was able to stun her, I might have a chance, but I don't know if I'm going to get my stun off in time. Gotta really block this. She still got through my defense. So we'll move back on to some regular enemies. Uh, we just murdered the life out of that guy. Uh, I didn't know I could choose which enemy to attack, so that's going to help me in the future. This guy seems like he would be strong if I let him be, so it's able to arrow him in the face. My counter arrow does very little damage though, it's very sad, whoops. And finally, King of the Morons, this guy, who will probably take down fairly easily because we can do that. And our counter hit certainly works there. 4,000 damage, he dies like a big idiot. And we get a treasure chest full of new armor. That's gonna help me look so much cooler, which obviously makes me better. Now we got three guys again. We should probably focus on the one in the center because we could take care of them. I'm also gonna stun him first chance I get. That way he's not hitting me because he's obviously pretty strong. Okay, he is stunned, so now we can focus on killing him. I really gotta pay more attention to what uh, I have charged or not, which is sometimes nothing. We can also just spear him repeatedly from a distance and poison arrow. All right, we can focus the other guy now. Oh, that was just a single battle fight. That was supposed to be harder than that. They're dead. And we got another ring, presumably a better one. Range damage plus 20%. I need to upgrade my range damage in general. Oh, I probably need to buy a much better bow, that's why. Apparently I can also b build a home uh, for increased XP gain. It's not going to be the nicest home, but it's going to be our home. I don't, I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing here. I'm just adding things on every once in a while. That gets expensive, so I'm leaving. We're going to feed my mushroom the clovers, take my gold, and leave this museum guy to die. That's better. Ranged weapon adventures going up. And then we're going to do that again because we need way more damage. The next upgrades cost 100 silver each, so it's going to be a hot minute before we get there. And I need to remember to actually equip this stuff. Should probably also unlock sorcery, whatever that is. Okay, this is my... I need to control my orb around apparently, but uh, this is going to give me experience and damage. I only had to do that for like a minute before we got halfway through my sorcery, so we'll do it again till we get all the way. I ranked up sorcery all the way, and that also gave me a fireball apparently. An authentic fireball. Why, yes, I think I do need one of those. 200 points all into bronze. I want to find out what's next. Now for the next battle. Think I might need a fishing rod to actually do anything here. We'll find one of those later. This is called the Desperate Ambush. We did 5,000 damage to him and we dodge countered him. <laughs> 2,200 even for our bow now. There's two of them, so we're going to go ahead and slice them both after we dodge him and blocked. We're not one-shotting these, which is kind of sad but we are destroying them rather <laughs> efficiently. Oh, I haven't even tried my fireball yet. I forgot I had that. And I thought I could dodge that. Fireball does not much damage, actually. We're going to need to upgrade our magic, but that's okay. For now, we can just bow and arrow this guy probably a few times and then he can die. He's also poisoned. I haven't paid attention to how much damage poison is yet. This guy we're definitely going to stun because he has like 30,000 HP and I forgot to do anything there. Now that we're back on track, we've got a few blocks and dodges left, so I think we're going to be okay. We could, uh, wow, he's quicker with that than I thought. Okay, we need to not get hit. Mm, we got hit. I blame everyone but myself, but also I came back with a helper just to make this a little bit easier. I mean, it really just is easy as me paying attention, but it's also easier to just bring her. Mostly because she's just a damage sponge. I can use her to uh, absorb damage and then I don't have to try anymore. I'm still pretty annoyed that I can't one-shot these guys. So we're just going to range attack them a whole bunch. He's poisoned and took a whole bunch of damage there and we finish him off. So we made it to the boss guy. We've taken no damage so far. My friend certainly has, but that's her problem. We're going to fire an arrow at this guy. It wasn't a poison arrow, but that's fine. Not all arrows can be poison arrows after all. He's going to hit her, and I still haven't been damaged once. She is a great damage sponge. And for our trouble, we got new armor. Now we're going to look extra scary. Quick stop back here to feed my mushrooms some more, and then we're going to take even more silver out because our ever-growing collection is worth ever more money. Now we're going to fight the pack. I brought her along again because, well, I paid for two battles, so she's here for two battles. Just got to remember to actually avoid things. Okay, we're going to fight the boss now. I'm going to stun him right away because he's obviously going to be the biggest trouble. Then we're going to range damage him while trying to avoid everything else coming our way. I guess we should fireball too. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but I think it's just a free attack for a teeny bit of damage. Well, she's out of the battle, but that's exactly what I needed her to do. Die on my behalf. This guy, we're going to block, dodge him, go in for the kill. Not quite the kill. Okay, this is going to be a harder battle than I thought. Okay, this battle is actually quite hard, so I don't have anything left to block that with. Maybe I need more defense. 
I just drained my defense up to here that also leveled me up twice. So I'm going to increase my uh, chances to block and then I'm also just going to put all the rest of the money straight up into defense. I also didn't realize how rich I was so I'm going to go ahead and upgrade the training yard that's going to give me uh, faster upgrades. Ranked my defense all the way up into silver. I also leveled up my damage into silver that left me with all sorts of new skill points. Chance to steal money during an attack, yes. I also want to turn down my stun thing. 810 points, that's so many. What we need is damage, I'm gonna auto click my way through damage. Also forget to feed my mushroom and take my silver which is now tons, 62 silver. And that somehow leveled me up again, this time I'm gonna put it into agility that way we have more critical chance. And I've turned dodge into silver, <laughs> which gave me another 500 points to put into whatever I want. Probably just damage. While I was doing all that training, we made more money down in the mines and somehow got another clover. Basically, I did enough training to make enough money to afford the night weapon set. So I feel like our damage is going to get a little bit better again because we have an iron claymore. So let's go back to the fights we were struggling with before. We did 31,000 damage, so I think we're going to be okay. Uh, <laughs> we just did a critical hit for almost 50,000 damage. I was so taken aback by that, I almost didn't react to it. They're also hitting me for very little damage because I have 110,000. Was that it? I just made that look so stupidly easy that I wasn't even paying attention. There's somehow still a tough fight available to us despite our incredible power at this point. It's a four point battle, so we're going to fight Stumpy. Stumpy's dead. We have multiple Stumpies. We're going to cleave them. Both dead. Now there's three of them. Uh, we're just going to one shot them one at a time. We should be able to dodge them fairly easily. Or block. 71,000 damage and a block. I assume, yeah, we're going to fight King Stumpy here. But first we're going to stun. I don't know, we'll hit him with some ranged. Which isn't a ton of damage, but on a crit it is. And poison. We're going to throw that at him. And uh, 46,000. <laughs> we're strong. That was supposed to be a tough battle. And we didn't even get hit once. We made that look like a joke. Oh, thanks for our mighty great sword. All right, well, we got two of these guys. We'll just go ahead and take them out. Uh, we got two of them. Oh, super critical hit. We're doing those a lot now. We can just dodge most attacks anyway. Uh, we're going to go ahead and stun that guy. Because I feel like he's going to be dangerous. We can dodge the rest of these anyway and hit him. Or block. Either way, we're going to kill these guys real hard. And got him. <laughs> Counterattack murder. And they even managed to level me up and we got out of those delicious clovers. I'm going to give myself a little more damage with their skills we just got from leveling up. So we're going to fight their royal ruby now apparently. So we'll go ahead and take out these two and then it should be... Yeah, okay, we're going to fight big boy. He does have a lot of health. 140,000. I... Uh, we're we're going to uh, crit him first and then we're hopefully going to stun him. Whoops, mistimed that because I was kind of panicking. Anyway, he's now stunned, so um, they're healing him, I think. They're healing something. I didn't really see that. We can just dodge, though, and hit these guys all we want. I think we can actually sometimes deflect those back. The Goblin, Goblin King is almost dead. Oh, never mind. They heal each other for quite a bit. Not as much as I can damage them, I think, though, because we can hit that. Okay, Goblin King is dead. Now it's just the healers. We did this backwards, but we're so strong, it just doesn't matter. We one-shotted that one. I'm just going to bow and arrow this guy just to show him I'm much stronger than he is. Even at 4,000 damage, is doing a lot. Then we'll finish him off with his stab. I think I get a glowing egg for this. Whatever the case, I think we just eradicated, like, the goblin race entirely. It's gonna cost 5 gold to get the next weapon set, so the sad grape's gonna have to wait.